Yesterday we stepped foot on the sacred grounds of where George Floyd was murdered, uh, about 25 minutes away from here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This was immediately after having spent several hours with a friend who lives with her husband about one and a half blocks from this uh, sacred location. She's a white woman who has taken it upon herself not to leave the neighborhood where she and her husband had to duck from possible sniper attack, not to leave that place that's being tear gassed and pepper sprayed and uh, sonically bombed, but to stay there where she attends two meetings a day with a group of people of all colors to learn alongside the place where George Floyd took his last breath. This place is now regarded, it seems universally, as a sacred land, a sacred space, a space that has evoked an intolerance for the perpetuation of policies that enable, protect, and preserve racism, persecution, separation, and division in humanity. And that uh, there seems to be so much possessiveness around. So tonight, I'm suspending the uh, weekly meditation session in honor of this uh, universally respected moment in time to contemplate our own responsibility and our own potential for uh, transforming. So I admire our friend very deeply and uh, ask that uh, those of us who are in these meditation sessions regularly or those who happen to bump into this video by chance or by logarithm or algorithm that we take this opportunity to reflect but whatever our self-image is it certainly pollutes and prejudices our perceptions of the world and it reminds me of these practices that help us that support us that nurture us to look at our minds and our conditioning and our programming and with self-acceptance and non-judgment examine the confusion of how we perceive our selves, our roles, and our power in the world and how we use them. So thank you for taking time tonight or whenever you choose to reflect on this moment that seems alive, suspended in life uh, as we examine and work to transform both ourselves and uh, the spaces where we interact.